This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Okay, so today's video is episode 7 in the ongoing series of videos that I'm doing about different types of commonly used chord progressions. And uh, this one, just off the top of my head that we're looking at this week, I can think of um, at least three different bands and artists who've had global hits with slight variations around this particular chord sequence today. What I've done is prepared a little piece of music uh, that you're going to hear next and um, the title of it might give you a few clues as we're listening to it. It's called Run to You in Your Boulevard of Wonderwall Dreams. There you go. Trips off the tongue, doesn't it? So here's the piece of music and then a brief explanation as to what's making the chord progression work. <laughs> Okay, the four main chords we're using here are E minor, G, D, and A. And as you can see here, there's the key of D major. Uh, those four chords all come from the key of D major. And uh, what happens when you focus on the E minor chord, if you're using chords from the key of D major, um, you are basically in the Dorian mode. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's take a little bit of a look at the... Um, different parts of the tune. Uh, the intro part, for example, well, something like this. Uh, what I was doing there was basing the, uh, the chords on an E minor. Then it goes to that there, which is effectively a G chord. And then up here, was sort of based around an A major chord. 
Um, we're still just using notes from the key of, of D major uh, throughout all of this. It's, as I say, E minor, G, A, uh, with the chords that that little riff is based on. And it's kind of reminiscent of this. Which you might recognise from a song by this chap. Um, run to you. Anyway, um, then we move on to the sort of acoustic strummy part, uh, which is, uh, again, E minor, G, D, A. And it's kind of like this. Now, if you add a few suspensions into that, um, making like the E minor into a minor seventh, and the D into a D sus four, and the A into an A sus four, you've essentially got Wonderwall by Oasis. Like that. Um, Play it just straight, the E minor, G, D and A, and you're not a million miles away from, oh, you're uh, exactly right on top of um, Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. And later on in the tune, I do add a few, um, a little bit of uh, tremolo to kind of capture that vibe a little bit more. Um, so... Um, also, the uh, that chord sequence, the E minor, G, D, and A. We're back to Brian Adams again for the uh, for the sort of main chorus chord sequence of Run to You. There you go. So again, it it crops up in a few places. This little chord sequence. There is one chord, however, that isn't in the key of D. That isn't part of this E minor Dorian key of D major thing, and that's later on when we come to the C chord. Okay. Um, what we're doing here is we're borrowing a chord from another key, which also has an E minor chord. It's like E minor is acting as the sort of bridge to another key. And as you can see here, the key of G has the E minor chord, and it also contains the C major chord. So what we're effectively doing is changing key in a subtle but noticeable way. Um, you know, so you might... Uh, encounter that sort of uh, change like this so if we had the uh, that main four chord sequence of going to the c chord like that all of the songs that I've mentioned here today um, all do that, either for a bridge section or to take you into the chorus or something like that. It's a very effective way of putting a subtle but noticeable little shift in there. Um, it's You can either call it uh, a borrowed chord or you can refer to it as a little bit of modal interchange because when you focus on the E minor chord, in the key of G, where the C chord is coming from, then that is said to be the Aeolian mode. And as I say, all three of these songs use this technique of setting up a chord sequence in the Dorian mode, E minor, G, D and A. Remember, those four chords are straight out of the key of D. Focus on the E minor chord in the key of D and you are in the Dorian mode. Then bring in the C chord. And if you were to kind of think of uh, maybe E minor, G, D and C, then that puts you into the E Aeolian mode, the key of G major. So we're kind of moving between two different modes or keys. Uh, it's called modal interchange or borrowed chords. It doesn't really matter what you call it, but it's very effective. So why not have a try yourself? And there is, of course, a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats. 
along with that clip that you've just seen there of me playing and explaining the uh, the piece of music and a bunch of backing tracks because there's certainly a few guitar parts on that uh, on that track so I've done a, a backing track for each guitar part and I've done a backing track minus all of the guitars so you can you know kind of load into your DAW and uh, start having a go playing and recording them yourself just to see how it all slots together all of that is up on my patreon page there's the address and the link is of course in the description and that is pretty much it for today folks thank you to everyone who is supporting me on patreon massively massively appreciate it or any of the other methods that you can help me keep the lights on around here all the links are downstairs in the description box and thank you most of all to all of you people for watching these videos um you know massively appreciated but that is as i say it for today hope you've enjoyed the video found it useful and informative and whatever else you've got from it and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it uh, don't forget the uh, live stream on friday i mention it in most videos but uh, in case you don't know 5 p.m uk time on a friday we sit and have a beer and a gossip about whatever crops up it's a great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now